Justin Bieber hanging out with Ludacris on 5FM all around the world. It's almost time for Too Fresh and So Frost. We'd love to hear from you. 089-110505. Call us and tell us about your story. What is fresh for us today? National Geographic have announced the list of nominees for the National Geographic Emerging Explorers 2013. And included in this highly respected list is one South African, Dr. Steve Boys. He's a conservationist biologist based in Cape Town, but apparently he's always between Cape Town, Hogsback Village, and the Okavango Delta. 5FM, please welcome Dr. Steve Boys. Uh, what's up, Doc? Ah, oh, DJ Spech, thanks so much for having me. Um, yeah, uh, it's just a wonderful award for National Geographic. Okay, so what does this entail? And before we get into that, tell us about your work. What do you do? What's your 9 to 5? Uh, my 9 to 5 is our national parrot, the cat parrot. Yes. Um, there's only a thousand nests in the whole world, the only found here in South Africa, and that's my day today. Uh, we plant thousands of trees for these birds to feed on, we put up nest boxes for them to live in, wow. and we do our best to try and solve problems related to disease, killing them all. Only a thousand left? Only a thousand left. I was just there last week with a bunch of volunteers and students, and it blew their minds to see a flock of over 180 cat parrots flying above our sanctuary. I mean, firstly, people associate parrots with cages, and they don't expect to find them in South Africa. Exactly. Are you winning the, the war? Uh, we are a little bit. I mean, it's, it's difficult. It's, we have to unwind 150 years of chopping down all our yellowwoods, our national tree. Yeah. Um, but we have. We had a success in the nest boxes this last season, so we got our first babies from the project. Uh, we're getting the birds to feed again in the indigenous forest by calling them in. And, um, yeah, we, last year we had almost 300 parrots in our sanctuary, 30% of the global population. Where do people read up more about what to do with the parrots? Find us on Facebook. Go to the Cat Parrot Project group on Facebook. I mean, every South African should be part of that group. It's our national parrot. It's green and gold. I mean, it's our springbok parrot. It's, uh, yes. It should have its own national team. In fact, the Cat Parrot Project is all it is. The Cat Parrot Project. Oh, the Cat Parrot Project. Now, National Geographic Emerging Explorers, tell us about your other job. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, it's, it's a, I feel privileged to become part of the National Geographic Society. I mean, access to all of the, to the channel, to the magazine, uh, to the resource that they have. Yeah. Um, I mean, my experience so far working with them, I started a blog with uh, Newswatch at National Geographic. And going from a guy that got maybe 15,000 people reading my blogs, um, I've got now 3 million uh, reading them every year. And it's really kind of supersizing all the conservation efforts that I'm involved in. Okay, so what does this mean for you? that National Geographic holds you in such high esteem? Yeah, I mean, then, then you, you start moving up the ranks in, in the society. I mean, you become an emerging explorer, and you become a fellow, and you have the opportunity to possibly become an explorer in residence. And as you move up, you get access to more and more resources. Um, I mean, we're already making a reality series for South African television called Bush Boys. Wow. Um, and for National Geographic. Uh, we're looking at making a feature film. I mean, all of this is coming from, from National Geographic and that association. And then for youngsters out there who maybe want to be future emerging explorers, I mean, what channels would you recommend they maybe uh, follow? There's no channels. Get out into the bush. Get out and love uh, what we have here in Africa, the wilderness. Um, get passionate about something. It doesn't have to be wildlife. Um, but National Geographic runs on passion. Yes. Um, and that's what you need to put out and cultivate in yourself. So where else can we find you or reach you online? Uh, my Twitter feed, Dr. Steve Boys, um, and go to our website, the Wild Bird Trust. Uh, we do a lot of fun stuff there. We've got something called the Wild Bird Revolution, where we share photographs of wild birds from around the world. Um, this feeds into our campaign to halt the wild caught bird trade in Africa. Thousands of our birds are being removed from the wild unnecessarily. And half the time we're not even aware. No, uh, these things are not in the media, and that's why I'm so excited about this association with National Geographic. We're going to get them into the media. We're going to get people talking about these problems, because they're there. And one day, 10 or 20 years from now, we're going to wake up. We're going to have no wilderness left on this continent. We're going to have very few birds. It's going to be a lonely, lonely, lonely place. And that's why we have you on the show, buddy. Thank you so much, Dr. Steve Boys. Loving your work. We'll continue supporting it. Thanks, man. All right. And uh, Duran, just for the record, mm -hmm. not those kind of birds. Because <laughs> I know you've been only boys. Yeah. Like, there's enough birds in the Israel, but... Exactly. No, no, not that kind of bird. Ah. But.